Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Siren Frost, and today, as promised, I got you guys some deck profile videos from the start decks we got them from DZ Format, aka the Divines Format. So, the first two decks we're going to be doing today is Dragon Empire and Dark State. But in this video, we're going to be only focusing on the Thunder Roaring Dragon Triumph Dragon deck profile. Um, so far, <clears throat> this deck has just been started out ever since the DZ BT1 uh, Fae Clash set came out. And I'm still in the process of getting most of that collection because most of everything is so fucking expensive. Um, but the new mechanic is now we're, un we're unleashing the energy generator generators in the fi as the fifth card for the ride deck. So now there's technically now five cards for the ride deck and 50 cards for the main deck. Now in this deck here, basically what it does focus on is get your persona ride um, early, as fast as possible just by doing one counter blast, search for another copy of that unit, and your Vanguard does get an additional 10,000 power in the end of the turn. So that's a nice little mechanic. I think it's called the Especial Persona Ride. So EPR, I guess you want to call it. I don't know, but <clears throat> I know it sounds kind of fucking stupid. Now, the owner of this deck currently right now is, her name is, uh, her name is Nawa. And I got to figure out what her last name is. But once I find it, it will be in the, um, in the description box down below. So that's where it is at. A uh, quick backstory on Nawa, since she's become a very popular character with all those simps going on. Um, she is 19 years old, I believe. She's in university. She's a first year student at the university. And she, her main goal and her wish is she wants to be a, profession, a professional card fighter in the, in the events and try to work hard to get to that thing. She currently works in a dining in a diner with her other friend Akina, who is also the one of the main protagonists in the in the series, uh, Carpet Vanguard Divines. And so far, we are having we are now in the DZ format, so this is very perfect. She actually became becomes the mentor to Akina while he wants to learn how to play Vanguard for the sake of entering the F Fated Clash, where sh where Nawa and a Akina are both participating in it along with four other members and then we'll go down by the list later on i think but right now we're focusing on now is this um first deck we've seen her with and then we will talk about her other deck you know later on when we could do actually have it so let's start with the ride line first so this is what we're focusing on is we have one energy generator for this for this deck here so this has to be in the deck in order to play in big events or tournament events now thank god i got my start decks before anything else happens so i'm glad i got this one and it's main its skill is it's for a ride deck when you're wrote when you ride put this card into your order zone or crest crest zone sorry and if you went second so energy charge three so it does focus now more on energy charge so great you may have up to 10 energy and that's where the little um, the little energy things will come in. Um, at the beginning of your ride ride phase, energy charge three. So of course, so that's four effects. And its last skill comes in very handy, but it's a one turn only. You energy blast seven um, energy and draw a card. So that's one thing you really have to have with this deck right here. Um, and I'm sorry if the the angle of it is a little off because my camera wants to just be a pain in the ass. So we have to have one of these right here. Now for the monsters, we have Grade Zero, Heated Blade, Art Art, which is th now keep in mind, you guys, the start decks do come with in vanilla form, and um, what you're basically g trying to get for those products is the energy generator, which is grossly overpriced, a promo, a couple of promos, and all the triggers you want, and the rest you can just put it somewhere else that people won't may want. So here's all the actual effects. Is we got the Heated Blade Art Art, which is the Grade Zero's effect. When this unit is word upon, if you went second, draw a card. And this card will, right here, will serve the purpose for two ride lines. It will be for Triumph Dragon and for um, Faded One of a Parallel, of um, Parallel, I think. And it's called Varga. Um, 
let's not confuse it with the word verga, because I know in Spanish that means something else, but we can't say it too much. So we just go with Varga, which I like the name. Now, for grade, grade one, and I, of course, we are playing multiple copies of this in the deck because it is a start start deck. So you need to have all your numbers and possibilities to see what you can do for the support. When this unit is worded upon by Roaring Thunder, Thunder Beast, uh, Kyra Rise, Energy Charge, or, yeah, sorry, Energy Blast 2 and draw a card. I am so sorry about that. And then this continuous effect is during your turn, if you have a grade 3 or grade of Vanguard, Triumph Dragon in its card name, this unit gets plus 5,000 power when it attacks. So it's a very continuous effect. So very come in handy, very big time kind of thing. Next one we have is Roaring Thunder Beast, Kyoten Rise for grade 2. When this unit is worded upon by a grade 3 card with Triumph Dragon in its card name, you may call this card to rear guard. If you did not call a card, Energy Charge 3. Okay? So you can either choose to keep this out there or not. So, and then um, for continu continuous, if you have a grade three or grade vanguard with Triumph Dragon in its card name, this unit gets ten thousand power into the sh on the shield. And then finally for our main boss, which is surprisingly it's not a trial deck rare, so it's common, so it's pretty easy to get. Um, Roaring Thunder Dragon, Triumph Dragon, one turn only. This is where I tell you the skill earlier. It's only a Cow Blast 1. Search a deck for up to one card, the same card name as this unit. Reveal it and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck, and this unit gets 10,000 power in the turn. That's that's the effect for all the, the ride lines for the trial decks. So I'm just letting you know. And when this unit attacks a Vanguard, Energy Blast 4. Choose one of your, opponent, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. And this unit gets plus 5,000 power and plus 1 critical. And to the end of that battle. So the, the main goal for Energy... Uh, charge and blast is to have a certain amount of energy to, to pay for the cost but this is not a bad unit i know a lot of people want to give a little bit of shit because it's not um the same volume as the very first uh d child eggs but hey you know what it's okay i guess bush world's trying to reduce some of the costs or something's going on but this is the confirmed ride line and including with the energy generator which basically you're paying 16 bucks or 17 bucks for depending on the traffic itself it's fucking stupid i know and just so you all know we are using the red sleeves because i know these are for toya but you know what this is for dragon empire i think we're okay <clears throat> now let's move on with the main deck right here and this is all going to be um based on D format and DC format combined, but it does have had that new car smell pretty much almost. So we have the new trigger. So we have, as always, my um, lineup is always going to be four heels, eight crits, three fronts, and one over trigger, just because that fits more my playstyle more than anything, and I don't want to complain about it too much. <laughs> so for heels, we have four copies of Refreshing Wind Dragon. Dino Breeze, which by the way, this is the most cutest, well, let me show you right here on the screen. This is like one of the most cutest, most cutesy units I've seen in Dinosaurs, besides the, um, the light one I think we had for, for Mirai's deck. Next one we have, the new edition for Critical is Rogue Beast Sunogesuri, which I think that's what everybody's more after about, and believe it or not, it's kind of why I want to clean house of all the trial decks so that I'm the one who wants all the all the triggers and the energy generators. Just not to sell or anything, but because I want to have all my decks with the new additions and new powers. And of course, it wouldn't be a Dragon Empire deck without the um, effect critical, which is Burning Flare Dragon. Three copies of the front trigger, Paramas. Just because, you know, I like, I still love that 20k shield value. And of course, it couldn't be um, a Dragon Empire deck with an over trigger, so here's Drug Vita. And it's what's funny is that, um, she did quote, uh, Drug Vita's flavor text in this, in the final season of these, uh, Divines. So I'm gonna go ahead and read its effect, uh, its uh, flavor text. As though it is an unextinguishable fire, the fighting will stood without wavering. And basically what Noah says is, she loves the flavor text and she sticks by that flavor text. 
basically, I guess, in her way, it's just her not giving up, so to speak. So, that is the trigger lineup. And yes, we are using the Triangle Dragon Sleeves, which I think it makes more sense you're doing in this video. Sorry, guys, my leg was starting to hurt a little bit. <clears throat> okay, so now for um, grade ones, we have three more copies of Roaring Flame Beasts uh, Curator. Like I said, you might as well just use a full playset of the cards given to you by for Triumph Dragon support until in the next few sets we might get more support for these guys. So for right now, we're just using we're just gonna clean house. Next, we got four copies of Drag Ritter Uma, Umna, or Umna. Uh, when this unit boosts, if your opponent has two or less rear guards, Counter Blast 1 and Energy Blast 2, draw a card and this unit gets 5k power into that battle. So there's that one. Next, we got three copies of Stealth Dragon Kuru Musubi. And this card is a very handy one, in my opinion, but I know a lot of people don't want to play it. This is given to you in the start decks as vanilla, but during its effect, you can actually use this for its main skill. So when this unit is discarded from hand during your ride phase, you may call this card to regard as rest. So it does add more um, more field fire pretty much and helps you get more boosting going on. So this is like your beginner actual thing. And of course, for um, last grade ones, we have com four complete guards with Sparkle Rejector Dragon. So four copies of this guy. And like I said, you guys, I am really sorry that this is looking pretty bad. Um, just because it's a, a lot low, lot higher than what it is. But this is how my stand is. So that's just my fault right there. So that is the grade one lineup. Now for grade two, um, I don't think I'm running too many grade twos in here. Oh wait, I think I am too much. I'll just tell you why. So, of course, we're using three more copies of Roaring Thunder Beast um, Kaya Rise because that secondary skill is still very handy. So, that 10k shield value, so we actually do need that. And then we have three copies of Self Rogue of Sword Throwing um, Kagiichi, I think. When this card is scarred from the hand during your right phase, Soul Blast 2 and draw a card. So it's kind of like the main of Leap Res effect. When you attack the Vanguard and if it hits, you can you can counter blast two and draw a card. This has something more to do with the Soul Blasting, so that's just what happens. And I guess she has some of a dinosaur theme going on with her deck as well, besides ninjas. So we are playing three copies of Crushing or four copies, sorry, four copies of Crushing Dragon Spinal Assaulter, and it's a one turn skill. When your opponent's rear guard is retired by the ability of your Grade Three or Greater Vanguard. This unit gets 10,000 power in the end of turn. So, there's that right there. And I've seen people um, say this card's very good for the deck as well. We're doing four copies of Blast Autory Dragon Brachio Force. When this unit's attack hits, retire this unit, draw a card, and choose one of your opponent's rear cards and retire it. So, your main goal right now is to fuck your opponent over, and hopefully, the attacks will go through, and you can basically just clean house on your clean board pretty much to your opponents basically giving you the middle finger pretty much if you want to be that highly aggressive now for the grade threes we're actually playing five grade threes in this deck so believe it or not there's a reason why um there's one more copy of uh, one of the grade threes in here is i'm still trying to get my hands on and before i make this deck fully completed but this is right now you're seeing right now so far is the full support to triumph dragon at this point in time so, we're doing three more copies of Triumph Dragon, just for the personification ability, which is very easy. Actually, we can put it right here now. Easier said than done. And then we're also playing... Oh, we're playing six. I'm sorry. So, we're playing three copies of Strath Command Dragon. So, this guy is a card you need to have for the Triumph Dragon itself. It's basically its grade three partner. Like, have, like most of the decks we have is do they have grade three partners. So... There's why. When this unit is placed on rear guard from hand, if you have grade three or greater vanguard or triangle dragon in its card name, energy or counter blast one and draw a card. 
When this unit attacks, Soul Blast 1, and to the end of the battle, this unit gets 5k power, and if your grade 3 or greater, and if a grade 3 or greater Vanguard with Toronto Dragon was Soul Blast for the, for the cost, it gets plus 1 critical. Wait, what, what? Wait, what? Hold on. And if a grade 3 or greater Vanguard with Toronto Dragon in its card name was Soul Blasted for this card, Oh, okay, I see. That's where, where it gets. So you need to have Trial Dragon. So you, have, you need to have two uh, Trial Dragons in the soul. So this is where the Persona Ride comes in. So in order to get his second skill full full scale, you need to have him. That makes sense. I did not know it personally, so I really am sorry. <clears throat> but that is it for the deck profile video for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video so much or um, have a lot of questions, which I know, I'm sure you guys probably do right now. And hopefully we can figure out the issue with my camera, which by the way, I will take off. So, this makes it a little easier. But yeah, this is the deck right now currently for Triumph Dragon and for DZ, the game of DZ format. If you guys have a lot of questions, please leave the comment down below. And if you guys have the content I do create on this channel, please subscribe, thumbs up, comment down below. And you know how you know you know how the drill works. So sorry for the late response, guys. I was waiting for the right time for this, and now I do. So as always, I've been your host, Iron Frost.